Welcome to Insider Medicine In-Depth. I'm Dr. Susan Sharma. Two common treatments for carotid artery stenosis each carry their own risk of adverse events, according to a comparative study published in the latest issue of the New England Journal of Medicine. Here is some information about carotid artery stenosis and its treatment. The condition refers to a narrowing in the carotid arteries, which are located in the neck and are the primary source of blood for the brain. It can be treated with stenting, in which a small metal tube is placed in the artery to hold open the narrowed area. It can also be treated with endarterectomy in which the plaque that is causing the narrowing is removed. Researchers from Mayo Clinic in Jacksonville randomly assigned over 2,500 individuals with carotid artery stenosis to be treated with either stenting or endarterectomy. The investigators followed up the patients to see who experienced adverse events known to be associated with these procedures including stroke, heart attack and death. Importantly, both procedures were generally found to be safe and effective. The overall estimated risk of stroke, heart attack or death during the four years following each procedure was similar for both groups of patients. Looking at the risk for individual adverse events on their own, however, revealed that stented patients were more likely to experience a stroke, while those who underwent endarterectomy were more likely to experience a heart attack. These differences were primarily apparent during the first days and weeks following the procedure. Today's research highlights the different risks associated with two common treatments for carotid artery stenosis and suggests that selecting one treatment over another should be done on a case-by-case -case basis. For Insider Medicine In-Depth, I'm Dr. Susan Sharma.